Hello, CIT 106 students, and welcome to the Excel module. So we've spent the last four weeks in our using a personal computer course, going over file management, get some computer concepts, learning how to use the computer and different programs. And then we've talked a little bit about social networking and social bookmarking. So now we're off and running and we're going to get started talking about the different Microsoft software products. And there are four in Microsoft Office that we are going to go over this semester. And the first one is going to be Excel, and then we'll be moving on to Word, PowerPoint, and Access. So some of you are saying, why are we using Excel first? Um, and what do I have to use Excel for? So this is kind of just an introduction and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Excel and why we would use it. We are doing Excel first because it's probably the hardest one to learn. Um, some of you probably have some experience with it, but as we get into it, um, you'll see how powerful some of these formulas are that you can use in it. So we have three learning objectives that we're going to go over this week and make sure that you cover throughout the week as you're going through this module. And the first one is creating formulas to add, subtract, multiply, and divide data. So you're thinking a lot about, well, why can't I just use a calculator for this? Well, a lot of times we have so much data, it is just easy to write one quick formula and copy that formula down and we're able to get that same um, calculation for all of our data. So it makes it very easy and simple um, for lots or large amounts of data. And our second learning objective is to use functions to sum and calculate averages. Um, so again, kind of similar thing, just a press of a button to tell us, you know, 15 rows, what does that equal rather than trying to add it all in our head or using a calculator. Um, Excel is awesome because it can do all of that for you. And then the final learning objective for our first Excel module is sorting data according to specific criteria. So we may be looking for um, somebody who has a certain last name and we have 500 employees in our database. We can easily go through and sort that and find them very quickly. So that would be the benefit of sorting. So you're thinking to yourself, well, why do I really need to know this? How is it going to help me later on? Well, I'll tell you, as a high school teacher and now working um, as a state lead, so managing several teachers, I use Excel on a daily basis. I thought about always teaching it, but I never really thought about using it every day. And it is something I use several times a day. Um, lots of data can be put in here to organize it and perform quick calculations and give me the answers that I need very quickly. Um, many businesses use Excel to help them um, put all of their data and gather different calculations. And also entrepreneurs also do this as well doing their payroll or keeping track of their employees, um, how much they make, how much they sold, um, and even doing their accounting, based, some basic accounting in Excel. So it can be very helpful in many different ways to organize data. Um, so you will find that at some point in time, you will probably use Excel. So this week, you have a few things that you are going to be doing. The first, you're going to spend some time reading chapter Excel chapter one in your textbook. It is page 301 to 398. So I'd like you to go through that. There are some great pictures um, and snapshots in there showing you how to do these formulas. And then you are going to watch the video lecture in the module. So that will walk you through exactly how to do the formulas, create them, and show you some examples. And then the third thing you are going to do this week is go to my IT lab and you are going to do the practice um, and complete the skill based training and that will give you a good idea of um, what you need to do to do those formulas and give you some great practice. So I look forward to seeing your work and I will see you in module two. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message and I can help you there. Thank you.